the next thing um, to talk about briefly, I guess, is another question I get a lot. Can I use the USB connection to connect my encoder to my Hawksworth computer? Um, and the answer is no, you can't. The USB connection on the Universal MIDI encoder is only for programming it and for powering it if you want to power it. It does not carry any MIDI data at all. You cannot use that to carry the MIDI signals um, into your computer. And there's a reason for that. It's kind of done on purpose. Well, there are two reasons, to be honest. Um, the first reason is to actually um, program the encoder so that it will be recognised as a MIDI source by the computer um, is going to require a whole bunch of work. Um, it's going to require a, a special driver to be written um, and quite honestly as the guy that has to write all this stuff I didn't see that it was worth the effort. Um, there's probably loads of people screaming at me now saying oh yes it is. But there are two issues. The first issue is that the five pin DIN um, MIDI standard has been around forever and it's just guaranteed to work. If you plug a 5 pin DIN MIDI cable into something uh, or, or between two bits of kit you know that they'll work and it just always works. It's no, no problem. It's, it's universal. It doesn't matter what you plug into it, it's going to work. Um, so I think that's a good idea. Uh, also it's most professional um, musical gear uses the 5 pin MIDI standard. Um, if it uses USB it will have the 5 pin socket as well. Uh, I've not come across any professional stuff that only has USB sockets. So I think the 5 pin standard has kind of proved itself over the years and it's 100% reliable and that's what I want to go for. The second issue with USB is that you need to be able to program this encoder and so you can use USB to do that, that's how I designed it. But if you want to use the USB for MIDI as well, well how are we going to tell it which one it's using? Is it, is it programming it or is it supposed to be sending MIDI signals? So then you end up with, well okay maybe we should have two um, USB sockets, one for uh, MIDI and one for programming. But it's, it's kind of just adding to the cost and, and everything else and that becomes a, you know, a whole bunch of work again. Um, so my view is that one MIDI um, output is fine, that's the 5 pin DIN. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of 5 pin DIN to USB MIDI devices, converters, adapters, call them what you want, um, available. Uh, now recently, um, I'm filming this in spring of 2019 and um, recently I've had a number of uh, guys uh, and girls um, emailing me saying we've bought these, these cheap little MIDI interfaces which, which you recommend from China and they don't work and in one case there was one poor guy I think he'd tried four or five different um, adapters and none of them worked. Um, however I think now that is something to do with uh, Windows, um, that's my guess, because I still use Windows 7 um, on all of my musical stuff, and even the ones that I buy now, because I bought one or two to check, they seem to work fine. Um, I don't actually own a Windows 10 computer, so I can't test them on Windows 10, but I wouldn't mind betting, Windows being what it is, that um, something has changed somewhere along the line recently, possibly even an update, a Windows update, uh, which is what's causing these things not to work, because I've been really lucky with them. Um, the, you can pay $3 from China on eBay, and every time they just work for me. So either I'm a very, very lucky guy, or there's something funny going on with the, the newer version of Windows. Now, if that is the case, I guess there are sort of two options, really, that you can do. Um, you can either spend the money and buy a professional MIDI uh, interface that's got 
the five pin DIN connections as well as a USB connection and that says that it works with Windows 10 um, and that's obviously almost certainly going to work but it's also obviously almost certainly going to cost you considerably more money than one of the little cheap ones that you can buy on eBay um, but it's a kind of once in a lifetime purchase and it comes with guarantees and you know all that good stuff the other way is if you're feeling adventurous and, and you're a bit of a computer uh, person you can fiddle around with different drivers and different settings and all that kind of stuff uh, and just try and get these little MIDI interfaces to work um, and if you do then why not stick it in the comments below as to what you did to make it work um, because that's really going to help others out there's, there's a lot of people out there that are struggling to make these work at the moment um, and, and there was one guy who even sent me a link, I think it was, um, to uh, a website showing you how to take one apart and modify it and, and this, that and the other. Um, I think to be fair that modification was to add in an opto-isolator because I don't think it had one um, and the MIDI standard calls for it. Um, but either way, um, that's my what I think really about MIDI interfaces. So there are no plans to make the USB port on the encoder into a MIDI port. Um, that's not going to happen. I firmly believe that we're better off using the 5 pin DIN. So again, hope that's helpful. Uh, we'll look at the next question in a minute.